everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today, actually I think if you zoom in on this uh, number, this is Juki MB1373, it's a button sew, uh, sewing machine, automatic button sew. But uh, I think we have this video online, but today we have converted this machine to do something else. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what this machine could do. This machine does both flat button and uh, shank button for automated button sewing. So pretty much this you see here, we have taken this off from the machine. I'm sure if you're back there, I want people to see what I'm talking about, right? So if you have to zoom, you could zoom on this. This is a shank for a button sew, which you put the button in here and the machine, um, and you put the button in here, in the back you have um, a way to do two button or four button also, you have a, a, an option to do a shank for more of like jacket, coat, ladies, um, uh, garment, you need shank button. But um, we have lots of customers and they want us to do different things for them. So um, this is the machine we have converted for a drapery. Look at this. Uh, a lot of people want to tag and I'm sure you know, you know there are three prong uh, drapery hooks that go in here and people need to tag this along. So what we did instead of uh, getting a huge big $10,000 sewing machine, we have converted this machine, the MB1373, to do just that. We have a couple of things that we have to do before we ship this out, but uh, we'll do it before we send this out, obviously. What we do is that we change the regular shank, uh, flat shank for the button that goes here, we change it with this one. And that one will do the job. So this is a Juki, and I think this one is made in China, and it's on a continuous running motor. Can you show the one that it is? This machine cannot be servo. This is continuous, you turn the machine on. See, continuously running. Now, we could show up here, please. This is continuously running. So whenever you press the foot on the uh, pedal, it would uh, engage. Now, um, there are a bunch of things that, I'm using a regular thread, this one doesn't have any bobbin or bobbin case underneath. It has the looper right here, inside here. Um, not so many adjustments, just a couple adjustments for different type of thickness that you do. I'm gonna lock this in. The machine comes for regularly for one of these things to put your uh, buttons in there. There's an eye shield that goes in here. Where does this go? Goes uh, somewhere around here. And you could, where does it go? Um, probably goes here. And then you could adjust. And you got an oiler, you got a bunch of needle screws. Uh, needles are one. I mean, TQ by seven or 175 by seven is the same thing. And a bunch of other accessories that come with it. But now I'm gonna show you that what we did for this and what this could do, what the machine could do. All right, so I'm gonna put everything back in here. Close this one here. The we have the machine set up on a regular, on a T-leg with wheels and on a regular table that I'm sure you see a bunch of my videos. And you guys say, hey, we know already. So, okay. So this machine actually going to a customer and I'm gonna send this video to a customer too. Again, this is a regular thread, what we call T27, T27 everyday garment thread. You could do T40, you could do T50, you could do T, T105 all the way to thickness of polyester. So what they want to do, they have this one and pretty much they want to go ahead and let's say, close this one right here, you see? And they wanna just tag it, okay? So what is this, we're gonna put it here, this one, and it's pretty thick, right? You put it down here, and 
done. See? It's done. Now, it's red, it's an ugly color for this one, but this will do the job. I'm gonna do another, see, it's done. I'm gonna do another one here. Done. So, you see that one? So we did so many of these things before the customer. See, back and forth. This how you, now this is thick. Usually there is button in here, but we have done this for the customer, so, there are machines that do this one. I, I honestly, I think there are a lot of old style sewing machine and some new style, but they're really, really expensive. But we have converted this machine for a customer to do curtain and drapery. This is pretty much our business. I mean, if customer come in and they need us to do some sort of um, specialty item for them, this is what we do. Uh, regarding the needle, if you think your needle is not strong enough, you could always change the needle. There is enough um, space here for the eye of the needle, so you could use all different type of needle, all the way to up size 20, 21, 19. I think what came with the needle, with the machine, is size 18, uh, which is not bad, but if you wanted to go ahead and do something uh, higher, you could definitely do it. So this is, I didn't even believe this could do this, but look at it, it's an amazing, amazing. You could you could add uh, more stitching, you could lose the, uh, the, uh, the tension here to get more thread, but that's what people use to make this drapery pleadings. They call them pleats, I think, right? Pleats, the pleats they do. Anyway, this is Dave from goldstartool.com. Uh, let me know if there is any other video you want me to do for you. Um, machine comes with a bunch of accessories, video, I mean, uh, screwdrivers, owner's manual, um, and as I don't show you a bunch of accessories here. Thank you for watching. This is Dave from goldstartool.com. Thank you. Visit our website goldstartool.com.